Hi, my name is Natasha and I'm the Marketing Executive at Brain Tumor Research and you're watching The Nicest Vlog. Hi guys and welcome to another version of The Nicest Vlog. This week I spent my time with Brain Tumor Research in Buckingham. Let's see how I got on. So most of you guys watching this would probably assume that a brain tumour research charity is probably based around the white clinical labs with the men in their white coats, but it couldn't be further from the truth. One of the biggest research charities into brain tumours actually operate from the chief executive's house just in Buckingham. Driving up the drive was a lovely drive on Monday morning and I arrived on this beautiful farm where the outhouses next to the main farm building are where the Brain Tumor Research Charity operates. Brain Tumor Research are in the midst of one of their biggest campaigns, wear a hat day, which is why throughout this video I'm going to be wearing different hats just to highlight the fact that you should be wearing yours at the end of March to support Brain Tumor Research. Interestingly enough, only 1% of the national cancer funds available for cancer research in this country actually go to brain tumour research and that is a huge, huge deal because the majority of people who get cancers, 40% in fact, actually end up spreading to the brain and people who get brain tumours, the average life expectancy is less than 40. Now one thing you probably don't know is that traditional chemotherapy doesn't tend to penetrate the brain because there is a fluid and a system within the brain which kind of doesn't allow these chemotherapy drugs to go through. So one of the pioneer surgeries that is happening at the moment is by putting prongs directly into where the tumours are to pump the chemotherapy into the brain to ensure that it goes directly into the, the tumours that are there. I spent the majority of my week up until 9 o'clock um, in the evening on Monday and Tuesday packing and fulfilling orders. Now what's interesting about Brain Tumor Research is that the Chief Executive was a former buying director for some large companies, so she really has nailed the amazing kind of commercial viability of the charity. So instead of going along the trust funding route and going for lottery grants, they've got this amazing range of product which they farm out on a sale or, sale or return basis, which means that you can put your order in, get the product for free, sell it, contribute back the money you've made and everything that you don't sell then goes back to the charity. This has allowed them over the past month to shift 1200 fundraising orders from colouring books and car hats which go on the front of a car all the way through to t-shirts and caps to ensure that there is a, a continuous and I guess sustainable stream of income into the charity and it is such a clever way of raising money. So far on my journey I haven't actually seen a charity be as commercial as the brain tumour research lot and what is really really interesting is that they've nailed this whole product range down to a T and coming from a buying background and a retail background it is such an attractive offer I don't see why more, more charities go along this route because you can get a real amazing sustainable income from selling products and generating awareness from having all of these amazing things out there. So Sue, who is the Chief Executive of Brain Tumor Research, is an incredibly inspirational woman. She set up a charity on the back of losing her niece um, and at just the age of 12 years old she developed a brain tumour and unfortunately died just under a year later. Within a week they had set up a charity called Ali's Dream and within a year they had raised just over £100,000. This amazing journey that Sue was on, she then turned it into Brain Tumor Research, made kind of an umbrella and a kind of... Um, a strategic partnership with all of the other brain tumour charities out there and brought them all together under one roof and she really offers an amazing aim and directive for what they're doing. They are a research charity, they don't do anything else other than research and having a clear goal and a statement really sets them aside from other charities that try to almost put their birth too wide and achieve too much. They have a clear statement and with that they have driven the charity forward to almost a £2 million turnover a year in just under 8 years. Thanks for watching guys, it's been a really short one this week but I just wanted to explain the amazing things that Brain Tumor Research does. So next week I'm with a charity called SIBS and I am all over the country experiencing what they do. SIBS look after adults or siblings who have um, brothers and sisters with learning disabilities and instead of supporting the people with learning disabilities, they're actually going to, or they do support, the people 
who are the carers, which is quite unusual for a charity. So I am really looking forward to traveling the country, getting my teeth into and understanding exactly what they do. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my videos. Um, every week I am with a different charity with the nicest job in Britain and it is a really educational vlog to watch so you can understand exactly what the amazing people in this country do for all of the people out there that need our help. Thank you for watching. Here's to next week and have a lovely weekend. Bye guys!